Release the War Stew Cut. Oh, wait. Not the War Stew Cut. Release the Snyder Cut. Oh, wait. We already said that. And that is happening. Right. We're going to start a new one that's not really new. It's been on the bandwagon for a while. But I've always supported it. I've done a video about it a bunch of time ago when the news came out. So... It's a Suicide Squad director's cut. Now the director is coming out and specifically saying, you know, what's going on. So what is good, YouTube? Wash you here. If you are new around it, you know what to do. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Don't ever miss any of the videos. At the 100,000 subscribe mark, I will be giving away something that is so damn hard. I can't even get hold of one myself yet. So subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you never miss any videos. Also check us out on Instagram at Wash you and Twitter Washed you G and the Facebook page Washed you. So, what are we talking about? We are talking about the Suicide Squad, the director's cut, the David Iyer cut. I'm probably going to say it wrong, but oh well. So, he's recently come out and said some information. I took the hits like a good soldier when the studio cut hit the streets. It's who I am. I watched my cut for the first time since it was abandoned, and it is demonetized word amazing oh god i felt guilty for years like i demonetized word nope it's fire it's the tone of the comic-con trailer 100 percent the first teaser footage at suicide squad was released in 2016 and promised a dark broodier look at the gang of supervillains forced to do the government's bidding on a Suicide Squad mission. Unfortunately, according to David, the director, the studio felt dissatisfied with his tone for the film and they ordered extensive reshoots to bring more humor into the storyline, which led to the missing vibe and, and people not really liking the theatrical cut of the Suicide Squad movie, which is a massive shame because Gerard Leto's Joker apparently is absolutely fire. And if... We get to see this cut that is apparently coming out in 2021. Release the David Iyer Suicide Squad cut. We're going to get to see more Jared Leto Joker. And now, as we reported in the video a few days back, Jared Leto could be in the Batfleck TV show with Joe Manganello. And yes, this is not an exclusive. I'm just going over information that's already out there. Now, Warner Bros. has decided to hit the reset in the up-and-coming Suicide Squad, helmed by James Gunn. The movie is in its last days of production. Yeah, they're just editing it pretty much. So it is interesting that now I'm questioning why he's finally watched his cut for the first time in years, right? It sounds like it's the first time he's actually watched it. I watched my cut for the first time since it was abandoned. Okay, so so he's actually watched it before. Okay, so this tells me that AT&T have ordered the Suicide Squad cut to be released. Now, I'm not confirming that I have information inside, but I kind of have heard some things about this cut and I've heard that it's going forward, but I can't currently say that it's 100% happening. But from what I've heard, it is happening, okay? Just like we said, the release of Snyder Cut was happening. Uh, but Warst you, a lot of other people said that. Yep. But they said it after me, not before me. So let's go over some information that came out a while ago. So you've got to understand he's now watching now. So the culturednerd.com.org, sorry, which I highly suggest you go to. They had a story that ran on May the 21st saying multiple studios to work on the VFX for Snyder Cut and Iyer Cut. Which is interesting. So we went over that story there. And it was essentially just a VFX studio code Zodiac Studios are working on some stuff. And yeah, it seems like somewhat has been tapped. So it says a PR representation from Zodiac Studio has contacted the culture nerd regarding this article and indicated that it is normally their policy not to release information regarding their work or partnerships ahead of the studio. However, they did indicate that the rumors of their involvement in this project following the reports is inaccurate by their standards which usually if anyone says anything you yeah, know there's some truth to it so it is very interesting so it seems to me the reason that david has come out and said he's watched it uh he, he took it like a good soldier and all this kind of good stuff it's apparent that it's coming but it's not being confirmed anywhere thus far at the moment but if you have been on david's instagram account or on his Twitter page, or if you look, if you follow people like the Light Podcast, there is a lot of information coming out. I mean, David I has posed some other. Should we hashtag Suicide Squad? Uh, there's new images come out, so it's so apparent that something is going to be officially 
revealed very soon because it's not like they need to do reshoots they just need to re-edit some of the vfx some of the cgi and stuff like that because it's already there so this makes even more sense than release the Snyder Cut because this information, this this footage is literally sitting there being unused and AT&T don't like to waste anything. So to me, regardless of the new Suicide Squad reboot, not really because there's a lot of characters that are in the original one, it seems to me that it's happening. So everyone, 2016 Suicide Squad was not the film David Iron Movies wanted us to see there is another cut that is better exactly and to be fair a lot of people thought the suicide squad movie that actually came out was pretty good anyway so whatever this cut he has that apparently has a lot more jared leto joker apparently some more batfleck batman that everyone's always hyper for and some harley quinzel it's going to be interesting and it's so obvious that it is happening. So I'm just scrolling through the internet. David I posted the unseen Joker footage on his Instagram story one day after the news of Jared Leto broke. Maybe it's a coincidence, maybe not. So yeah, there's been a lot of new images coming out over the last couple of months and weeks, so to speak, about this, you know, supposed cut. David I has released a new image of Entrances on Suicide Squad on his personal Instagram account. Okay, I rest my case. Very, very different, very different looking. And that is something that's quite common with both Zack Snyder and David is that their visions of this movie, of their respective movies, were completely different to what we got. And I mean, if you go through his Instagram, he's been posting stuff quite, quite frequently, then maybe deleting some stuff. But he, he does do stories. So if you are interested in the Suicide Squad movie, I suggest that you follow him on Instagram or follow him on Twitter or follow people like Culture Nerd or The Light Podcast or your boy War Stew because there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that people want, are in denial about, you know, like the Suicide Squad. And if you look at the entrances we got in the Suicide Squad movie compared to the one that's actually in the movie, they're completely different and VFX is being worked on. It is so apparent. It really is. So we're going to get to see the original cut. It's just a case of when AT&T come out and confirm it. It really is. You know your boy washed you. You trust your boy washed you. I'm not like, you know, having a big ego or anything like that, guys. But just remember what I was right about in the past. Just remember what your boy washed you was right about, okay? Okay, you trust me. I know I know the people who watch me trust me. Like, trust me. It's coming. It's just a case of when it's coming. So release the David Ayer cut. I'm saying it wrong on purpose now. It's going to happen, guys. And there are Joker rumors. And they're not rumors. They're true. There is so much more Joker in this movie. There really is. And apparently, you know, Joker's apparently going to be in the Batfleck TV show as well, which is pretty cool. And not that it means, and not that it really means anything. No disrespect to Ray Fisher. But Ray Fisher's also supporting it, saying, I believe it. Release the Aya Cup. So there's a lot of people supporting David on this thing because he's literally said that he's watched it it's there it's not the case where they have to see additional scenes now this is one thing that i really find annoying about these little websites and stuff like that is people are like yeah there's reshoots for justice league no they're not reshoots they are additional scenes which is brand new scenes brand new scenes yet there's articles going justice league reshoots are starting it's not a reshoot it's a new scene a reshoot is when you're reshooting the same scene in a different angle in a different shot in a different way a re like a new scene is a brand new scene i don't really get why a lot of people follow these people that, that kind of you know say stuff like this it's not reshoots it's a brand new scene so what are we getting in this eye cut? More Jared Leto, more Batfleck, completely different variation of Entrances. And the movie will flow much better, be much darker, much grittier. Why? Because AT&T want it to happen. And they are the bosses. So, just like we said about the Justice League, it's an cut. And just like we said, there will be new scenes that will be completely different. Just like we said about multiple other stories that came out to be true. It's coming, guys. It's just a case of when they officially reveal it. And from what I'm hearing, it's coming 2021 after the Snyder Cut. After the first part of the Snyder Cut, so to speak. So like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. That will be cool. Remember that apparently, based on the last Batfleck video we did with the information, Joe Manganiello Deathstroke is going to be in the Batfleck movie. 
but also Jared Letter Joker is as well. But War Studios Walking Phoenix Joker, okay? But that, that's kind of irrelevant. It really is. So it's looking like it's going to happen. So release the Ayaka for sure, guys. So like always, please like, subscribe, and comment. Check out all the other videos. Thank you very much for all the support. We're getting so close to hitting that 100,000 subscribe mark. And also, guys, let me know if the audio is sounding better. I've had a lot of problems with this mic recently. I don't know why. It's a pretty cool mic. It's a Rode NCS. I do. I will be upgrading to a Shure mic very soon. So like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. I'll catch you in another video very soon, guys. Catch you later.